Really great article in last month's Esquire talking about where men's fashion is, where it was, and more importantly, where it's going. Uh, there was a section of authentics and they discuss things that have traditionally always been a part of men's fashion and how you can incorporate it into your style moving forward post pandemic. So one article in particular caught my attention. Uh, this is uh, Glenn's denim. I'm not talking about Glenn today, but very curious to see uh, what he has to say and what he makes. Uh, this article here went over the concept of the ties dead. If not, how should you incorporate it into your fashion moving forward? So I'll go over just uh, three suggestions. And I would say that, uh, first of all, if you look at the true style mavens, the Lapo Elkins of the world, they're not following fashion, they're setting fashion. And so he's already incorporated, embraced the tie again. But if you're thinking about how to wear the tie in an appropriate manner, you want to think about the three basic styles. And it's going to come down to the content as to what makes the tie. So I'll start with the most formal which is a pure silk tie. Uh, these are really gorgeous ties that we make uh, in Northern Italy, the Lake District specifically. And these are gonna be 100% silk, very similar to what you would see from Hermes or one of the better neckwear, silkwear producers. Uh, this smaller geometric pattern, a little whimsical butterfly here, uh, really beautiful spring uh, flower and geometric. It's uh, technically called a foulard. And when you have a pure silk like this, it's generally gonna be your most formal look and you would typically wear those with a suit. So 100% silk is going to be your most formal tie. The blends, which in the fall you'll have ties that are heavier uh, wool or sometimes will be cashmere, uh, but not quite as formal as a pure silk. Uh, this particular one is a wool cotton blend. It's a little bit trimmer. It's two and three quarters side to side as opposed to this, which is the standard width, again, uh, three and a quarter side to side. Uh, because of the cotton that's blended into them, you can see it's got a more tactile finish to it. And so it's going to be slightly less formal than a pure silk tie. You could wear these with a suit if you want to dress down or, or make an outfit more casual. Uh, you could also throw it on with a sport coat like what I have on today. Actually, this would be a great tie for what I have on today. And the trimmer look, of course, is going to be more casual look, small, Pointer, your lapel width should be within a quarter of an inch of the width of your necktie. So right now we're still pretty close to three and a quarter for most suits. We're seeing that go back out again. Uh, guys like Angel Ramos are wearing much wider lapels and so you'll want to think about your necktie to be in proportion with whatever lapel style you're wearing for a jacket. Uh, the last type of tie, and this is you know your classic knitted tie right here. Uh, what I've noticed in my decade plus in the men's fashion business. If you were somebody who went to parochial school, you're probably never gonna put a knitted tie on. I did not, and so I don't have any uh, bad connotations associated with the knit tie. I actually think it's a really cool look. Of course, it's the most casual of tie, and if you wanna get something that goes with everything, a solid navy or a solid black or a solid gray, is something you could pretty much pair up with any blazer or sport jacket. Uh, you could also rock it just with a pair of jeans and a cool uh, uh, cotton shirt or wool shirt on the weekend. So. Again, things like a neckwear when we were all at home or when most of us were at home uh, during the pandemic, it probably felt a little bit presumptuous to throw a tie on unless you're trying to trick yourself into getting into work mode. But uh, as we are seeing the overall sentiment of people, regardless of which part of the country or world you're living, getting back to normal or a yearning to get back to normal, uh, consider re-embracing the tie. You'll be glad that you did. Happy dressing, my friends.